It's SEC College Gymnastics. Barnhill Arena is the site of a top 12 season opening meet between number 12 Arkansas, hosting the second ranked powerhouse Oklahoma Sooners. And alongside former Razorback gymnast Heather Ellswick, I'm Brett Dolan. Delighted to have you with us. And Heather, quite a challenge for Arkansas. The Sooners certainly have some star power. They do, and Maggie Nichols coming in as an all-around champ last year. She has a lot to look forward to. Uh, she got 10-0s in all events last year, so that's pretty impressive. Let's see if she can keep it up this year. Alongside her is Brianna Dowell, and she's coming off an NCAA Vault Individual Championship. Yeah, she brings a lot of momentum, and she's a strong competitor on that event. So let's hope that tonight she can show us all that she can be that Vault Championship just like at NCAAs. Looking forward to this uh, matchup tonight between Oklahoma coming in again ranked second preseason in Arkansas. And Arkansas, of course, up first on the vault. And Jessica Yamzon gets a chance to lead things off, something she's done throughout her entire career. Yeah, she's, she's ready for this event. I think that she has confidence tonight, and she's going to do really well. Junior from Las Vegas will attempt a Yurchenko layout full. A starting value of 995 as we're underway. Oh, great amplitude. Pretty much a stuck landing. I think that's going to score pretty good tonight. She's excited. Look at her running towards her teammates. Big smile from Jessica to get this one underway as we take another look. You mentioned the amplitude, talking about height and distance. She does. She gets pretty high off of the vault. She just needs to look for that landing a little bit better, and it will be a six. Oklahoma starts on bars with showers. Beautiful mount to the high bar. Just a little short on that handstand. That's a full twisting Dicaccio. That looks beautiful. You don't see that very often in NCAA. Great transition to the low bar. Hit that handstand. Her momentum and swing is great throughout this whole routine. And full twisting double back. Almost a stick. Great routine right there. Good She's start. happy with it. Good start for Showers and Oklahoma. Great start for both teams. We'll wait for her score. It was a 9-7-2-5 for Yamzan on the vault. For Arkansas, next up is Sarah Schaefer, the sophomore from Texas. Sarah recently came back from an elbow injury, so she's looking strong this season, though. Oh, so close to the stick right there. But again, that amplitude and the way that she gets off the vault table is incredible. Another look at her pass. She would have just looked forward just slightly more and been prepared for that landing. It would have been a great landing. You have the tendency to look at the floor almost rather than feel for it. Yeah, when you look at the floor, sometimes it brings you to the floor. Here's Alex Marks, a 9825, by the way, for shower. She started on the bars for Oklahoma. She started off with a beautiful Maloney to overshoot to handstand. She's hitting her handstands and holding them nicely, which is what you want to see. Picking up some speed. She is. And what a stick. She is excited. That was a great routine. Like you said, she has a lot of momentum, a lot of speed going into that dismount. That's what you want to see. And she's looking for that landing. She was ready for it. Great routine from Alex. Just underway tonight. Michaela Burton will go. By the way, Mark Cook is the spot coach for the vault. He's been coaching bars for the majority of his career, so it's a different looking perspective for him tonight and going forward. Yeah, um, Mark is a really good vault coach. I know he coached me, and I was very successful on this event. So great vault for Michaela. Again, I think she could get a little bit more momentum compared to the last two vaults that we've seen. And you can see that she kind of twists off the table a little bit. You want to be able to have a straight on lift off that table. That may have been why she had a uh, off landing. 
Marks had a 9.85 after Showers had a 9.825, and here's Anastasia Webb. She has such pretty lines on the bars. I love watching her. Great Maloney half. And hit that handstand. Always want to hit every single handstand. You don't want to miss any tents. A little far in that dismount, but man, she stuck it. Great Good. routine from Anastasia. Good landing from Webb. <laughs> so we take another look. Great line. She's pointing her toes and just sees that landing. Great job. Strong start from the second rank Sooners. Halfway through the bars routine. And next up is Savannah Penizzi, a freshman with her first collegiate opportunity. This is such an exciting moment. I remember my first time competing on vault. It's exhilarating and that was awesome. What a way to start as a freshman. Big smile she from is Savannah. so happy, yes. <laughs> Got to believe there's a few nerves to oh, this first definitely. opportunity. Oh, definitely. You get the jitters for sure. But getting her through this first event is what they were looking for, and she did awesome. She met that standard. We featured Brianna Dowell in our open and get a chance to see her on the bars. And Webb, who preceded her, had a 9.875, so a good start for Oklahoma. She usually is very well, does very well on this event, so we'll see how this one goes. Hit that handstand, awesome. Beautiful scotch up. Look at those toes pointed, those feet are together. I haven't seen them separate at all. Just slightly short on that handstand. What a great dismount. Just had, see that stick and that would have been a great bar team. How hard is it to be clicking on all cylinders in this first meet, first opportunity to showcase yourself of a season? It's definitely nerve-wracking. That first meet, the first time you're competing on that first event, um, you just really want to be confident, show as much confidence to the rest of your teammates as you possibly can. And I think that OU and Arkansas are doing that. There's another freshman from Pearland in the Houston area, Kennedy Hambrecht, fifth up on the vault for Arkansas. I did see a slight leg separation, and that's probably going to be a little bit of a deduction, but great fault from freshman Kennedy Hambrick. She's excited. Again, those nerve jitters get to you sometimes, but she didn't let them. So she's the fifth of six. We will have an exhibition in every category tonight. Here's Nicole Lehrman who was the 2017 BARS national champion. That's and Nicole and I used to train together when we were in a uh, club, so this is fun to watch her from this side, this point of view. And by She's the way, always had beautiful lines. She was preceded by Dow, who scored a 9-9 for Oklahoma. That's a great score for Oklahoma. And I have not seen many mistakes in this routine so far. Great handstands. Lots of momentum, legs together, and that ah. stuck landing. She is happy about it. She's fired you up. You can see her. That's awesome. Looked like a near perfect landing. You really want to see your legs together, toes pointed, and hitting every single one of those handstands and being on top of every single skill that you're doing. For Arkansas, Sydney McGlone happy to be back after she missed most of last year with an elbow injury that I believe occurred on the vault. Yes, it did on her um, punch off of the table. So we will see. And that, that's a great comeback right there. She looks strong. She looks powerful this year, and I think she's ready to dominate her senior season. She said last year she felt the injury off the table. She had to complete her routine and land with a smile on her face knowing she was injured. She did, and you see that a lot on floor, too, with Achilles injuries and not as much with elbows. So I'm sure that was an interesting experience for her. But she looks awesome this year. Lehrman had a 9.95, and now one of the juggernauts for this outstanding program, Maggie Nichols. 
Great, Ray. Straight into the pack. Looks like she barely slid on the floor a little bit, so that may be a deduction. Great Maloney half. Beautiful lines. Just a little bit short on that handstand. And a great dismount. Again, a stuck landing from OU. And these are going to be some landings that you want to see throughout the rest of the season. And they're already starting strong. Seemed like that was a common denominator on the bars for Oklahoma. Strong landing. Yes. And just being completely clean and taking their time throughout their entire routine. Strong beginning for the Oklahoma Sooners on the bars. Arkansas, good beginning as well on the vault. Our first rotation all but complete. We'll step aside and come back to Barnhill Arena after this. But for Oklahoma, amplitude is so important, height and distance. Right, and those stuck landings. We might be seeing a couple of 10 0 start values from OU today. So with them, they may be landing the opposite way that they come off the vault table. So they really have to be looking for those landings. Showers. See her average last year at 9836. Of course, she was an All American, but last year as a team in one meet, Oklahoma had a score of 49.650. That's a great, that's a great score. We'll mention several All-Americans from this vault for Oklahoma. The showers will lead things off for the Sooners. Great amplitude. She just needs to bend her legs a little bit on that landing and really spot it. That was one of those 995 star value routines. Great block off the table, pointed toes and feet together. The only thing is that landing, really. A little bit of a hop. Yeah. Jessica Yamzon, she has competed on the bars, in fact, in the all-around in every competition throughout her collegiate career, and she enjoys being in that leadoff spot. She says it takes some of the pressure away. Yeah, I think so. I think when you're first, you get to lead the team, and, and it may be less pressure for her, but some of us may not think that. <laughs> I think she missed that first handstand just slightly on the high bar, but the rest of the routine has been outstanding. Almost a stuck landing, but she's happy with that routine. Great start for Arkansas Razorbacks on bars. Like you said, she is a consistent athlete. That's why they put her in that position and give her the all-around uh, position as well. Lucky I'll look at her with that screen. hog. She got the hog nose. Dago Vea, I believe. It looks like this Lehrman. Is Nicole Lehrman. It is Lehrman. She was originally scheduled to go fourth. And that was an incredible Yurchenko one and a half. That's a 10 0 star value, so that'll be great for OU. The first one and a half to start. And like I said, you want to be spotting and spotting and looking for that landing, and that's, that may be why that coach is down there so that you can look at them. Here's Sophia Carter, next up on the bars for Arkansas. She's another consistent gymnast. She competes on almost all of the events, and the coaches put her there probably because of that. A little short on that handstand. Good overshoe, a little piked with the hips. You want to see open hips. Oh, she's she held on to that one. Too Great far. job for her. A little bit too far open. You don't want to see the arch in the back, but that was a great routine. She kept her momentum up, momentum up and looked really good. Strong landing for strong Sophia landing. Carter. So you see that arch in the back. You want to be completely straight on top of the bar. Next up is Olivia Troutman, just a freshman, but certainly highly acclaimed and big expectations surrounding her. 
Another one and a half. That was awesome. She had a lot more amplitude than the last one and a half that we saw. But still, you want to see those stuck landings. And a little bit of slight bend in her knees. So both of those will be slight deductions for her. But a great vault. Next up for Arkansas on the bars is Sydney Laird. An All-American last year, all-freshman team, I should say. Part she of the Canadian national team. She had a great freshman year. She came in strong on this event, and uh, Coach Mark used her a lot on this event as a strong score to have. Inside this arena, still trying to put up some of the scores that have occurred here in our second rotation as Laird is the third up on bars for Arkansas. She does a little bit of a different dismount or amount onto the bar. She jumps from the opposite side that most people do. Hitting all handstands. Great bail overshoot. She's really keeping that momentum up and swinging well throughout her bar routine. Great double leg, a little close to that high bar. You want to see a little bit more distance away. But great routine from Laird. A little bit of leg separation as well. You want to try to watch for everything being tight. Oklahoma switched up their lineup just a bit. Degovea who was an All-American in the vault last year, will go fourth for the Sooners. That was amazing. Great, great vault. Great one and a half. She really saw that landing like we've been talking about. And I think that's going to score very well for her. You might expect some of these landings not to be tip-top for this first meet, but the Sooners are having none of that this evening, at least so far to this point. Right. I think on this event, you want to see more of hops than steps. You get a less of a deduction with a hop than a step out of it. Arkansas's Haley Garner last year had a 9.975 on the bars, her first opportunity here in 2019. Beautiful blindfold to Ginger. Straight into an overshoot. Great connection. Hitting all handstands. Beautiful lines. Toes pointed. And what a great routine. That step at the end. She just needs to bend her legs just slightly more and she would have stuck that landing. Marcus great routine. Sloan returning all American off to a strong start this season. Here's Maggie Nichols again for the Sooners, going fifth on the vault. Another All-American last year. She competes in all around, so she doesn't get much of a break. And that's a stuck landing. That's the first vault stuck landing that we've seen of the night. And the coaches are excited. Everybody's really excited for her. Great amplitude, feet were together, and legs seemed like they were pretty straight. Great vault from Maggie. Star power indeed from the Sooners and Maggie Nichols. Sarah Schaefer looking to do a Maloney to bail handstand, double layout, dismount. a lot taller for most gymnasts to do the uneven bars so it's impressive to see someone with that height do the types of skills that she does and she shows great lines really shows off everything in her routine very very well great handstands and held on top of the bar that's what you want to see great double a she added that double a in this year and it looks fantastic already first meet in the season 
Taking a look at Sarah Schaefer. And our scoring inside the arena is a little bit delayed, Heather, but Maggie Nichols got a 10 on the vault. That is incredible. First 10 in Barnhill Arena, I believe. Keep in mind, Arkansas has never had a 10 in any of the events, but they've seen one tonight in Nichols. And here's Dowell. Great amplitude on that vault. She did a great job blocking off that table and almost seeing that landing perfect. The slight bend of her chest forward, and that's why she fell a little bit. Body falls, that momentum, I'm sure, as you're trying to stick that landing. Yeah, so wherever your head is looking, wherever your eyes are looking, is usually where your body will try to, like, reach towards. Michaela Burton competed on bars in all 12 events she competed in last year, and she'll go in the sixth slot here for Arkansas. This is always a nerve-wracking spot to be in, and unfortunately she just fell over on that handstand, but she has 30 seconds to get back up. What does this do this mentally when you fall and to try and regain your composure to get back up on the bar? It's definitely defeating for a few seconds, but if you're doing it for your team, you want to be able to get back up there and finish strong because you don't want to count a fall. Part of gymnastics, I'm sure, is internalizing the frustration and keeping that smile on your face. You do. Everything's for your team. Unfortunately, she fell again on that Maloney, so she's going to have another 30 seconds to get back up on the bars. So this is where I'm sure that fortitude comes into play to try and gather yourself again emotionally. It does. And right now she has that time, and that's why they give it to her to kind of compose herself and get back up there. It looks like she just barely missed her fingers on that bar. Coach Griffith with a few words before she goes for a third time for Michaela Burton. So she's going to repeat the skill because she probably didn't get credit for it. Arkansas scored a 9.775, a 9.6, a 9.675, a 9.775, and a 9.775 before Burton. So because she hit her feet on the ground on that overshoot into the kip, she's going to probably have a deduction there as well. But she's finishing this routine up very well with good composure. And that's something she'll be able to take with her, finishing strong after some early frustration. She will, and knowing Michaela, I know that she's not going to let this get to her, and she's going to be better next time. One more vault for Oklahoma. Keep in mind they have had a 10 already from Nichols, in addition to a 995. So a couple of strong scores already for Oklahoma. Great amplitude on the ball, and I just think she wasn't ready for that landing. She had a couple of big steps forward, which are going to be a few deductions, but a great ball all in together. Diego Vea had a 9.95, Dow had a 9.9, Nichols had a 10, so Sooners put up some big time scores on the ball. They did. That's going to be a big difference at the end of this competition. If you're Arkansas and you're focused on the scores head to head, the Sooners have come out, made a bit of a statement through two rotations. Yeah, when I was an athlete, we were told to not kind of pay attention to the scores and just pay attention to what's coming up next and what you're, what you're told to do and what you're prepared to do in that moment. As we mentioned before, in addition to the six competitors, we'll see several exhibitions tonight, which I'm sure is just part of the plan for some of these early meets. It is. Uh, exhibitions usually are to see if this athlete can be under pressure in front of a big audience and still live up to their expectations on that event. Usually it's the coaches wanting them in that lineup but haven't seen them fully prove that they're ready for a lineup spot yet. So for Arkansas, Kaylee Gillings get her opportunity on the bars. 
Beautiful start to the routine already. Great handstand. Great Jaeger. And hit that handstand out of the Jaeger. A little leg separation in the bail overshoot. But she's continually moving throughout this routine, which is important. That momentum is important. Great blindfold into the double back. Wonderful job from Kaylee. I think she lived up to those expectations from Coach Garrett. So Gillings in the exhibition finishes off the bars for Arkansas and some big time scores as well for Oklahoma on the vault, including a 10 from Maggie Nichols. Our third rotation and Jessica Yamzon competing again in the all around. She will lead things off again for the Hogs on the beam. And Arkansas returns 70 of their 84 beam routines from a year ago. And, and last year, Heather, this is where they enjoyed so much success. 13 of their 14 meets, they had scores of 49 or higher. Beam was one of the strongest event, events for Arkansas last year. And let's, let's hope that this is the same this year. Jessica's always done well starting off in the first spot on beam. She's very confident. She can hit a good beam routine and get her teammates ready for the rest of the event. You can tell she's from Las Vegas. She's got some of that showmanship. Yes, she's got the attitude in this routine <laughs> for sure. Her pitch front, very good amplitude there. Beat jump to gain her full dismount and a stuck dismount. That's what we've been waiting for from Arkansas. And the dismount again. That's stuck landing. We will await the score for Yam Zahn, her third competition so far tonight. Brianna Showers will start things off for the Sooners on their floor routines. KJ and OU always do such a great job with choreography on floor. It's so personable, and I think it's, it's great for them to show their poise and their attitude throughout their whole routine. And it seems like, of course, the music plays such a factor in that as well. It does. They usually pick the music first and then kind of bring the choreography in after that. Beautiful double pike to start from her. She's happy with that one. You can see from her face. She's excited during this floor team. She's letting all the personality out. She is. I love it already. I like that she's able to change her facial expressions. Judges do look for poise and attitude and the way that you are showing yourself throughout the whole routine. Is there more work put into an event like this because of the length and because of the opportunities for the tumbling passes? Not necessarily. I think that the choreography, yes, it may take a little bit longer, but that's usually done prior to preseason or during the beginning of preseason. So that part you usually have down. It's just the skill-wise you have to get. Oh, and she did put her hands down there, so that will count as a fall. But she still finished that routine out with some attitude. Talking with her coach, K.J. Kendler. So that double pike had so much amplitude, so much height. Beautiful. A little bit of frustration, certainly the way that one finished. It's definitely disappointed. You do want to start off on floor with a strong routine. Kaylee Jillings, we saw her with an exhibition earlier, but now she's competing on the beam after Yamzan had a 9.875. I love that she starts her routine showing off her flexibility. Kind of gets the judges ready to see what this routine's going to be like, prepares them for what they're going to see. She seems very calm up there. A 
That was a triple series. What we were talking about earlier, those acro series, she actually does three in a row. So that's very impressive. Stayed on the beam at the very end. She did. Looks like she just missed that connection, so she repeated a new skill, a B jump to straddle half, to get her start value still up to what she needs it to be. She knows how to correct herself when she makes a mistake. Big step pretty, at the end. pretty big step on that landing, but I think that was a great routine coming from Kaylee. A little bit of leg separation there. She could probably squeeze her legs a little bit tighter, but great routine from Kaylee. Next up for Oklahoma, Degovea. And Showers, who preceded her, had a 9-1-7-5. Remember with that stumble and the deduction near the very end of her routine? She looks very serious starting this routine. I like it. She's such a flexible athlete, but a strong athlete with that. She's ready for this floor team. Young lady from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Her handspring front double fold, that was beautifully done. She has such pretty lines. I love this choreography that she's showing us right now. Very much her personality. And she's getting the whole crowd into it. And that's certainly the amazing aspect of these floor routines. It doesn't matter if you're the visiting team or the home team, the crowds respond and they get involved. They do. I think floor is the easiest one to get most involved in because of the music and the attitude that they're able to show throughout this routine, the personality. Going into the third pass right now. Round up one and a half, front full. Great connection there. She finished that routine very well. That's good coming back from after showers, having that fall in the last routine. So that shows that she's able to put that aside and bring back this team on this event. Very strong start for Oklahoma on the vault and the bars. Haley Garner up third on the beam. Chilling set a 9.575. And of course, Haley Garner was an All American on this beam in 2018. The lone returning All American for Arkansas after they lost Amanda Wellick. Bray Speed. A little bit of a wobble there on the straddle three quarters. Haley has a few different skills in her routine than most of the other girls on the team. Side aerial to lay out, step out, and she just had a little bit of a balance check there, but she held on. She's going old school on her music. She is. <laughs> Side aerial to full twisting dismount, and she got that landing. Finish that routine strong. That was a great job from Haley. And that connection into the dismount is very important. She could have probably kept her chest up just slightly on that dismount, but great job from her. We'll see her score in just a moment. Brenna Dowlett next. Degovea had a 9.825. She went second on the floor for Oklahoma. And this is Brenna's third event to keep compete in tonight, correct? It is, and apparently she has an incredible and unique first tumbling pass in her double front, which is rarely seen in collegiate ranks, so we'll it focus is. on that. She's such a powerful athlete. Here goes that front, double front. That's a wow. That was perfect. 
couldn't say it any better. You pointed out just the athleticism when she approaches that tumbling pass gets everybody's attention in this arena. She does. And the music is very intense and creates that environment for the rest of the crowd. Run up one and a half front lay. She covered that landing very well. Determined for this last pass. Since OU's already had one fall, the rest of the lineup doesn't want to fall again, or else they have to count a fall in their overall score. But that was a great routine. Brenna Dow putting on a show. Boomer Sooner. That was that double front again that you saw there. Absolutely perfect. Right towards her teammates, providing a reaction and some feedback. <laughs> yes, that's the best part to watch in college <laughs> gymnastics sometimes. Here's Sophia Carter. Garner scored a 9.775, so Yamson still has the highest score in the beam for Arkansas at 9.875. That's a great, sco great score to start for Arkansas. And of course, we saw the performance from Carter as well when we get a chance to go back last year and watch her routine on the beam. Yes. She's such a consistent athlete on this event. And that's why Coach Armbrose probably puts her in this position to keep that lineup momentum going and in a positive note. Just a slight bobble check there. She kept on the beam though. That beam must feel so small at times. Four inches is very tiny. Still showing off that routine just like she has in the past. Beautiful full turn. Stayed on her toe all the way to the finish. Side aerials to full twisting dismount. Great job there. That stuck dismount is what we're looking for. And the program record holder in the beam with a strong finish in her first performance in 2019. This is an event where Arkansas can really hone in on those landings on their dismounts and focus on the details. Going back to Dowell, she scored a 9.875, and now Anastasia Webb is fourth up for Oklahoma. Anastasia was very powerful last year. She was a very much needed component of this team as a freshman. So I'm very curious to see how her sophomore year is going to go. Going back to Dell, were you surprised she scored at a 9.875? That's a good score for Brenna with that routine. Anastasia started with a front handspring front double full. Now she's doing one and a half front layout full. Beautiful. Great amplitude on that front layout full. She's another very flexible athlete and shows it off in this routine. A little bit short on that split full is what I would say. Spring front one and a half, very beautifully done. That was a great routine from Anastasia. And her finish. The team seems excited back there. OU's doing a great job of picking back up their momentum from that first fall that they had in this event. 
That from Shallis. She scored a 9-1-7-5. We'll see the score on Webb. Carter had a 9-7-2-5 on the beam, so Yam's on score. She started at 9-8-7-5, still the best for Arkansas. And last year, they finished six out of eight teams in the SEC in vault. They were fifth in the floor, fifth in beams, but as we mentioned, second in the beam. So this is where they did a lot of their scoring. They do. And they're, that comes from confidence and relaxation prior to the competition. And I think that the coaches instilled that in them. So Sarah Schaefer up fifth for the Hawks. Another acro series, a little bobble check there again. But that was a flick layout step out from Sarah. Just gave the judges a little smile there. <laughs> Good side aerial. She looks a lot more confident up there this season. Here goes her dismount. Back handspring tucked. One and a half. Just a slight step there, which will be a very small deduction, but great routine from Sarah. She just put her chest down a little bit too far on that landing. Again, that's one of those blind landings that you really have to focus on more. It's a hug from Courtney McCool Griffith. And Webb scored a 9-8-5-0 on the floor in the last floor routine, which is uh, behind Dowell. So they've had a couple of strong scores in a row. Those are great scores. And this is Maggie Nichols. And of course, earlier, she wowed everybody with a 10 on the vault. And keep in mind, last year she had a 10 in all four events. That's incredible. It's not seen from many athletes, so she is one of the best. And this was the floor individual champion as well in the NCAAs. Good double back to start. Very strong. I love her choreography this year. You can tell that she has a lot of confidence in her gymnastics by the way that she does all of her skills and the way that she moves through everything so calmly. Beautiful 180 leaps. Judges are looking for finishing up to that 180 degree level. She's taken a serious turn in her music this year, giving just a different floor opportunity for the judges to visualize and watch. A little bit short on that last pass, but she held on tight. Maggie. Great routine from Maggie. A couple of times on those floor routines, you think it's over, and there's a little last sizzle yeah, to it. Yeah, it seemed like the announcer kind of Got ahead of himself. <laughs> he may have. And now on B for Arkansas. Michaela Burton will follow Carter and Schaefer. They both had the same score of 9725. And for Burton last year, she had a 995 against Georgia. And this is the 25th straight event she has competed on the beam. You want to see that consistency from your athletes. And that's why Jamie puts her in this position towards the end of the lineup. She knows she'll hit. The acro series, backhand spring layout step out, beautifully done. A little, little bit of the wrist flick there, show off, and a head nod. She's got a lot of personality in this beam routine, and I think that's what makes her so calm. Great 180 split jump to sheep jump. Perfect connection. Just a little bubble check there. Got a little ahead of herself. And a great stuck dismount. Beautiful gainer layout. 
Michael. Off the side. Off the side. That's a pretty common dismount lately. It's a little bit easier to stick, I think. Well done routine from Michaela Burton. And Olivia Troutman up next as well from Oklahoma's floor routine. This is a national floor champion a year ago, so they say in the game note she is the entire package. We'll see how she does on the floor. A little yes, pressure. Yes, for sure. A beautiful double layout. So much height, so much amplitude. She really did a great job with that. And she's ready for the rest of this routine. So how about a freshman going in the sixth spot here on the floor to wrap things up? You know, you see, you see it a lot more lately than you have in the past, and it's because these athletes come in and they prove themselves in preseason and in those spots where they're under pressure, and she has done that. Another Minnesota native to go along with Nichols, so that state has produced a couple of big-time gymnasts for the Sooners. They have. She's again showing off her personality a lot in this routine. You can tell all the girls on the side are doing her routine with her. It's always so fun. A beautiful double back. Again, so much height. And she knew where that landing was. She was ready for it. She wasn't giving anything up in this routine. That was a uh, absolutely beautiful routine. Great job from her. From Olivia Troutman. I think this one's going to score pretty good. Still waiting on the score from Maggie Nichols. It has not been displayed yet, as well as the score for Troutman and her floor exercise. Burton scored a 9.875 for Arkansas. So Yamazan, who went first, Burton, who went sixth, the high scores for the Razorbacks. And there's an exhibition as well from Kennedy Hambrick. Kennedy's a freshman, so she's probably getting some of those jitters out in this routine and seeing, and the coaches are probably seeing if they can put her in, in upcoming competitions. A great acro series, flick layout, step out. Freshman from Pearland in the Houston area. Great leap series there. Switch leap half. Side aerial. She held onto that one pretty well. Turns are required in all Beamer teams. She did a great forward full turn there. She really seems calm up there. This is promising for the coaches. Another one of those gainer dismounts and a stuck landing. That was a great routine from Hambrick. Well done on the exhibition for Kennedy Hambrick. You can see that excitement from her. She's pretty happy to get that first beam routine out of the way. Allie Stern with an exhibition for Oklahoma. We have yet to receive the scores from Nichols and Troutman, the final two competitors on the floor for the Sooners. Another freshman for Oklahoma, this one from Charlotte, North Carolina. Great double pike. She was a little long on her distance of that first pass. You kind of wanted to have more amplitude going up as well as back. It looks like she messed up a little bit there, but she held on. She didn't fall. And still had a connection. I like 
like how OU's choreography is so creative, so unique from any other team in the NCAA. I feel like I'm in a bullfight with this music. <laughs> I do too. It's kind of fun though. And by the way, Troutman finished with a 9-9-5 for Oklahoma. She's definitely disappointed in that. But she hopefully she'll have another chance to prove herself to the coaches. That concludes our third round of competition. Oklahoma had some strong floor routines from Dowell. She scored a 9-8-7-5. And Olivia Troutman with a 9-9-5-0 for the Sooners. We'll step aside and come back to Barnhill in a moment. What has impressed you most so far tonight through three rotations? I think that the confidence coming from both teams starting off this season really strong and only having one fall or two falls maybe from this whole whole meet is impressive. Not counting any is even more impressive. Arkansas just about ready for the floor and Oklahoma will have their competition on the beam, which is always a bit of a challenge for a team to finish on the beam on the road. Maybe a potential for a slip or a fall, but as we watch Arkansas as well in their floor routines. It's something that uh, Coach Cook said he expects great floor routines this year that'll build in difficulty through the season as they try and gain some momentum. We'll see what his thoughts are so far tonight as uh, his first opportunity for his gymnast to be out on display. Right. I'm curious to see what Coach Courtney Griffith has in plan and in store for these athletes with their new choreography. This is her second year to do choreography for this team. And Oklahoma underway with Olivia Troutman. She, of course, had the impressive 9.95 on the floor. She already seems like a really dominant and vital athlete for this team. Beautiful full turn, keeping that heel up off the ground as she comes into the finish. Great series or acro series, whatever you want to call that. That can spring layout step out. Absolutely beautiful 180 leaps. Switch leap connected to a split leap. And that's called a pitch front, and she did it in a pike position, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Ken Troutman, just a freshman, coming off that impressive score to say the least in the floor and seeing what she can do on the beam leading off for the Sooners. She's really done a great job with this routine, and again, that stuck dismount. That was a great, great routine from her. Coach Kindler there for a hug, and we've seen a lot of these strong landings from the Sooners. That's great for her to start off this team with that strong competition, that strong routine. So once again for Arkansas, Jessica Yamazan leading off. She competed in the all-around last year at the NCAA Championships. She got to go with her team last year as opposed to going as an individual she as did. a freshman. And I'm sure that was a lot more exciting and definitely a lot less stressful for her being with people around her. She said it was nice to have her teammates there cheering for her after going that uh, solo route. It's very difficult going on any event and having no one there to cheer for you other than the coaches. You can see the girls on the side. They do the whole routine with her. She had a beautiful double pike to start. I'm sorry, double puck to start. That was her double pike. She's done a great job with her landings already on this event. That's important not to be off on anything here. A little bit of attitude, personality. We like attitude and personality. Her, her performance has gotten so much better on this event. 
over the last two years. You can tell she enjoys dancing and performing out there in front of the audience. She sure does. Getting ready for that last pass. She throws up the A. That's something new that they've started this year. Front lay, front full. Beautifully done. Great job from Jessica. She's happy with that one. So is everybody else. So many expectations for Jessica as a junior, but uh, she has delivered tonight. She has, and I think that her expectations are a lot higher coming in as a all-around athlete and performing on every event every single time that she's been here at Arkansas. Pretty amazing consistency and, and from a health standpoint as well. And you know, Arkansas probably in a little better position this year as far as health and depth, which gives them more competition in the course of practices and for spots in the meets. Definitely. It gives them a little bit more leniency to throw some other people in if they need to rest someone for a week, which is what they haven't had in previous years. Next up for Oklahoma, Nicole Lehrman after Troutman had a 9750. I was watching this mount during warm-ups, and it's so intricate and so different than what you see anywhere else. She does a beautiful job with it, too. You can almost see that she's along with her music, which may be something that she practices for momentum and to keep her composure up there. This is an Austin, Texas young lady. Yes. So there she did a triple series as well. A flick layout step out to swing down. And that helps her not, like, not, not count a fall at the end when she goes down to her legs. Beautiful leap series from her. Such a study and concentration with her facial expression. It is. She shows more of her personality through her body than her face. And there comes a smile on the dismount. But another great stuck landing from OU. And they continue to bring great routines to the table here. Feels like a team in the Sooners that are almost in mid-season four. It does. They are definitely ready to compete this season already. Next up for Arkansas on the floor is Kennedy Hanbrook. We saw her with an exhibition to wrap up the beam competition. She's a freshman, so this will be her first competition on the floor. Great start to the routine with a big double tuck. Lots of amplitude. Great landing there. She's following up Yamzan with a 9.775 for Jessica. Front layout, front full. A little bit too much over rotation there, but she held on. And I'm watching the sideline here, and they're all doing her routine with her still. Even while she's on the floor. <laughs> as far as choreography goes, the gymnasts have to be on the floor at some point during the routine. Their lower half has to touch the floor at some point. That I would not have guessed. <laughs> and a beautiful ending. Strong routine from Kennedy. Fans love it, Sierra Barnhill. That's going to show the coaches that she's ready for any upgrades that she may have. And we will await the score from Kennedy Hambrick. We'll go back to the beam. Lehrman, by the way, had a 9-9. Now, Carly Woodard, I believe, is the first time we've seen her this evening. Another very intricate start to the beam routine. She's 
seems very confident up there. This seems like her event. And that was a side aerial to back handspring. Perfect connection. That was her acro series. There's a pitch front step out landing. So she didn't land with two feet. She landed separated feet. Showing off her flexibility. Absolutely beautiful. Great leap series. Hit all of those 180s and connected the series. The same with floor, you have to touch the beam with your lower half at some point during the routine. Here's her dismount. Side aerial to full dismount. She tried to hang on to that one, but I think they might take a little bit of a half a tent there. Great routine from her. Coach Kendler might be saying the same thing and that hug at the end. She tried though. Yeah, she did. She tried to sell it. Going back to Kennedy Hambrick for Arkansas, she had a 9-8. So here's Michaela Burton, third up for the Razorbacks. Beautiful double pike. She's ready for this one. She's always had a little bit of personality in the middle of her floor routine. She really shows it off well. Especially after coming back from bars, I think she's done a really good job of being an upperclassman and showing that she can come back from anything. Trained at the Legacy Gym in Chicago, the same gym that produced Amanda Wellick, graduated last year. Good double tuck. She held onto that landing a little bit short, though. Crowd's gonna get into this one by the end of the season. She's so fun to watch on this event. Front full, front lay. A little bit low on her amplitude, but a great job for Michaela. few minor deductions there, but she really held on to that routine. Here's that double pike. Great landing there. Just a little shift of that front foot, which could be a little bit of a deduction. And again there, I, t I was talking about the amplitude. That second layout needs to be a little bit higher. Bit of a change for Oklahoma. Brenna Dowell will be fourth up after Woodard had a 9.875. So strong scores here in the beam for the Sooners. They are bringing out strong scores, and a lot of that's from detail. She really is so smooth with her movements on this event. Front aerial to back handspring, that's her acro series for this event. Very well done, connected into the back handspring. What we were talking about earlier is if you if you wait too long before a skill or you don't connect a series, you can now get deductions from that. We dropped her heel, heel a little bit there, but she may have covered it up well enough. Full twisting back handspring, you don't see that very often. That's a very tough skill to, to do. And she did it perfectly. Coach Kindler, you see her at the bottom of your screen. She's been circling around, pensive a bit. Try to talk her through this final dismount. Punch front, front leg full. And that was very well done. Just a little step in the landing, but great routine from Brenna. Nine nine on bars. We'll see what type of score she gets 
as well from the bean. Sidney McGlone up next, and again, injured most of last year, so I have to believe there's at least some butterflies or there was some anticipation coming into tonight. Definitely for her, but I think that she's able to hold all those inside her and do a, a really good job on this routine. We'll see if she competes the double layout tonight. Looks like she's going for it. Nope, double pike. And stepped out of bounds, so that's just a slight deduction. You can step on the line, but you can't step over that line. We I'm haven't seen anybody really come close to that until that point. No. She has so much power, though. I think that she'll end up putting in a double layout later this season. That was a great second pass. She competed the double layout before her injury. So hopefully she can get back to that again. Burton, who preceded her at a 9.75, top score 9.8 from Hambrick. She's really showing off this floor team well. Taking a deep breath before she goes for this last pass. Great double puck. Good landing there. Stayed in bounds this time. I can see what you uh, brought up, though. That strength and that power forces her to cover more ground than some others. It is. And yes, it does sometimes. And putting in these upper level skills may help with some of that, that overpower that you see there. Anastasia Webb up next. Both Dowell and Woodard had 9.875s, following up Lehrman's 9.9. Very high scores for OU. Very deserving scores for OU. What's for this sure. final pep talk entail? A lot of coaches like to talk to their athletes before they get up on the equipment. Some athletes like that to calm them and to give them confidence and reassurance that their team has has put them in a position that they can do really well and be successful. I think it's personable to each person too. Of course, Anastasia Webb, she had a 9.85 on the floor, also had a strong score of 9.875 on the bar, so she's had a big night. Again, showing off her flexibility. She seems a little nervous there to begin, but getting back into the groove of things. Beautiful full turn. her series. A little bubble check, but she goes right into that dance afterwards. Cat leap is what that's called to a front aerial step out. A couple bobble checks here and there, which you normally don't see from Anastasia. Beautiful 180 leaps and jumps there. I like that she continuously moves, never really stops in her, her beam routine. And that was a great dismount. Side aerial to back layout full, stuck dismount. Some of the differences that you see from Arkansas, OU, any other teams is the continual movement from some athletes and some that like to take a little bit longer. Here's Sarah Schaefer, 2018 SEC Freshman of the Year.
She has a fun entry into her beginning position of her floor routine. She doesn't just walk into her first position. Beautiful double pike. Looking at the judges, telling them, watch me. Again, another great double tuck from Arkansas. Courtney's done a really good job of helping her show off her flexibility and her personality in this routine. There's that floor work that you want to see from every athlete. One and a half front layout. Beautifully done. Could have probably had a little bit more amplitude on that front layout. But she really did have an amazing floor routine tonight. And a big smile and to finish. She knows it for sure. She's happy. Arkansas seems to have brought along a hog nose chain this year. Is that right? I see it in the background with some of the <laughs> girls. It's fun. Oh, and it looks like it's there sparkly, it too. Of course, it has to be. That's fun. And one more opportunity for us to watch Maggie Nichols. Webb, who preceded her, went for a 9.925. Being in this in spot, one of the last gymnasts to compete on this event, you really want to be on your game, and she is. And she's the anchor. They say she's a crowd favorite in Norman. I have to believe she is everywhere she I goes. I have to believe so, too. If Kyler Murray could play defense and win the Heisman Trophy, then he would be the equal of <laughs> Maggie Nichols, if he could do it all. Probably so. And she's done a great job of continually moving through this beam routine and not making any mistakes so far. And that's a very difficult position to do on a four-inch beam. Great one at leaps again from Maggie. She looks very determined. She sure does. And a beautiful wow. and extremely high run off one and a half off the beam. And to that stuck dismount, you could tell she was relieved and very happy with that beamer team. Here's another look. You can see how high she gets up off the beam compared to all, most other athletes. That amplitude is what you're looking for. Well done once again from Maggie Nichols. And Sophia Carter will get to perform on the floor. And of course, back in her high school days from the same gym that produced Courtney Griffin. Sophia has been a staple athlete on this event in the anchor spot with her consistency. Beautiful double tuck. Her dance is so graceful. She's going to try and equal what Sarah Schaefer did, a 9-9 score for Sarah. That's a great score to give Arkansas on floor. Round off one and a half, front full layout. Beautifully done. I am pretty certain that that's an upgrade for her this year. Great job there on the leaps with the connection and getting all the way around on the on the turns. This routine's a little bit more dramatic than her routine last year, and I think she's able to really exaggerate all of her movements throughout the floor routine and the choreography. 
double pike. Great job. Looks like she landed just slightly short there, but a great cover up there for her. And a beautiful routine from Sophia. What an ovation here at Barnhill from Sophia Carter as we take a look at some of her final passes. A very large double tuck there. Great amplitude. And right here, just a slight hop forward, but she covered it up so well going into that dance. And it looks like she got the hog chain. That's become a thing all of a sudden. I think so, and, and I'm pretty sure it means that they've done a good routine. <laughs> the gymnasts decide if they get to wear it or not. Chauffeur from Ames, Iowa. Ebby will complete uh, the exhibition. And by the way, the score for Maggie Nichols on the beam, 9-9-7-5. Just a little bit shy of the 10 that she produced on the vault earlier tonight. And that routine was very deserving of that score. Not many mistakes, and obviously the, coach or the judges saw the same thing. And it puts Oklahoma over 198 points tonight. That is a great start for them, for sure. They're starting exactly where they left off last year. Team that came in ranked second, and uh, no surprise that the Sooners would be there. Fifth straight year they have been ranked in the top two to begin a season. Coming on the road here at Arkansas against the 12th ranked Hogs and putting up quite a score for this first meet. You can see that she's determined for this dismount. She's ready to stay on. And she did a great job for that routine. Good for her. KJ's happy for her. She should be happy with the performances of not only her stars that we featured in the Open, but uh, some of her athletes that got an opportunity to perform as well. They did, and that's always great, especially in the beginning of season, because you want to see if these athletes can, can compete later on. Savannah Penizzi will complete the exhibition. And by the way, the score for Sophia Carter was a 9.95 after Schaefer went for a 9.9. And she is also very deserving of that 9.95 coming back again from last year and, and staying at her same standard. Beautiful start to her floor team. She did a round off double pike instead of a round off back handspring double pike. So it's a little bit different than what you normally see. But the back handspring is not required. Front layout from full from Puck. A triple connection. That's great to see from Arkansas. Something a little bit different. And teammates right there to cheer her on. They are one of the loudest teams in the <laughs> SEC. Another freshman, another Texan getting her opportunity to perform here in this exhibition on the floor. And Savannah's done a really great job tonight as a freshman. Really showing poise and confidence and readiness for this season. She's ready to be in all these lineups that she deserves. Last pass here. Round off double tuck and just real, a little bit short, but she really did hang on there. She did a great job. Avoided disaster, finishes. She did. Savannah Penizzi. That is our final exhibition on the floor as we take another look. And that will conclude and complete our fourth rotation. Arkansas using an exhibition in all four categories. We'll step aside and come back and wrap. Oklahoma scores a 198-050 in the meet. The second-ranked Oklahoma Sooners exceed 198 points in a win over the 12th-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks to start the season in our gymnastics campaign. Again, welcome back to Barnhill Arena. Brett Dolan, Heather Ellswick, she saved me tonight. Your dad <laughs> looked great in the overalls. But Heather, I would imagine both coaches have a lot to be pleased with, but for the Sooners, they were dominating at times. They were dominating at times. And I think that this is a great start for them this season. I don't think that they left where they, where they left off. I mean, I think they came back exactly where they were at NCAAs. And certainly they had some incredible scores. So we're going to take a look at the highlights and some of the... Uh, the best performances so far tonight. 
That's Lehrman. And that was a great suck dismount. And this may have been the Maggie this Nichols This was 10. an incredible vault. And she was so deserving of that 10.0. And this is Troutman on the floor. She had a 9.95. She really did hit an almost perfect floor routine. And Sophia was so consistent in all of her passes. She did a great job. Really closed it out for Arkansas. And once again, Maggie Nichols, not once but twice, a big time performance. It was a great beam routine to watch. And on that, she scored a 9.975. So here's your scores. What stands out to you for the various exercises? You know, I think that 49 from Arkansas on floor is, all, is a big deal for them. That's their highest score coming out of the meet. I think OU coming out with all 49s is a great start to their season. There's your final scores, 198-050 for the Oklahoma Sooners. Oklahoma as well, the Sooners living up to that number two ranking at tonight. And for Arkansas, they score at 195-575. That'll do it tonight. Our thanks to Heather Ellswick. Thanks Doing for having me. Fantastic job. You may come back again and join us at some point. And for our entire SEC Network crew, I'm Brett Dolan, thanking you for watching quite a night of gymnastics here at Barnhill Arena. We say so long from Fayetteville.